Well, friends and family are remembering the life of the teen who was killed in Horizon City over the weekend. 15 year old Ryan Romero was shot and killed at a desert party on Sunday. And a vigil was held in his honor late last night. Our KTSM 9 news reporter Carla Draxler speaking with some students during that event. He was just a kid, so for it to happen to him was horrible. A spot for parties now holding a cross with Ryan Romero's name. And a lot of my friends I know know him and they're really broken right now. 15 year old Romero was shot and killed at a desert party in Horizon this weekend. And it's those parties that become more frequent as weather gets nicer. It's not always someone that's involved directly with with you know the action that's taking place. Sometimes they're just bystanders and they end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Romero was a student of Bel Air High, the school remembering him today and students heavily impacted by the rise in teen gun violence. You kind of like go places and you kind of have to think of like if there was a shooting, where would you go? Where would you run? Who would you get? Horizon police says they keep an eye on the areas where these parties happen. A good amount of officers throughout the night uh, in those areas, especially the weekends, um, that we can monitor if we see that there might be a party that's outside of our jurisdiction. We'll let the, the surrounding um, agencies know. But some teens think it's not enough when guns are still available. Oh, you can get them to 21 years and older, but it's like you really cannot trust even a 21 year old. I think it all starts at home. I really do. Officer Sierra warns parents to keep track of where their kids are and monitor their social media. Another young life taken too soon putting a heavy burden on the youth of El Paso to think whether each time they go out will be their last. You never know when you're going to see someone the last time. Carla Draxler, KTSM 9 News.